So today we'll try to solve lead code easy problem 1920. So we'll try to build array from permutation. So let's see how is this problem. Okay, so I'll try to do, I'll try to challenge this problem in JavaScript because that's my programming language which I like to code in. So what we have to do, so we have got here, basically it's the input which is 0, 2, 1, 5, 3, 4, it's a array of numbers and the output is this. So they already say uh, how this output we get it. So what they're trying to do basically for each index. So basically for num of zero, you have to take again a uh, index of that number. So basically num of zero is zero, right? So then you again take an index of this zero. So what's on the zero? It's zero. So you print zero here. Then you go on the num of two of two. So when you do that num of two here, what's num of two here? So zero, one, two, right? So it's one, so you print one. So on you go with num of one, then you again take one. So that would be this. So you print it like this. And when you take num of five and you again take the fifth element of this array, which will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, which will be four. So we'll print four here. So that's how the array we get the output. So how we'll gonna how we gonna take all this? So we're gonna write our input and we're gonna write our output. We're just gonna comment this and then now I'll make one more comment that how I'll tackle this. So basically I'll have to run a for loop. So run a for loop through nums array, right? And so that I can iterate over the all elements. So I'll try to teach all of you guys from basics here, right? So basically for each I, I is basically all uh, element inside that array we will be putting we will be putting the new we'll putting the new value we'll get and replace it with i the new value and, and replace it with i right and we'll just return the output array or the array which you get in the beginning right Okay, so that's how I try to solve the problem. So I just try to write it down before and then try to solve it. So see how we're going to tackle it. So what we want, we want a fresh output array, right? So we'll create an output array, which is, which will be empty. So then what can we do? So I'll create a for loop. So I try to use classic for loop. So for i equals zero, i should be less than nums. We want to loop through nums, right? So nums dot length. We don't want to go over it. I plus plus. Easy. Uh, now, so now what do I want is I want to go to that output array, each index of it, and I want to replace it with nums. Nums is what the array which you've got. And what do I want? I want the letter. What letter I want to put at output at i? It's nums of i, but then I want to put the letter uh, the, the integer which is on there so this one if you see and when i'll do this uh, i don't need to do anything else that's it i can return the output so i'll return the output right so how it's working basically let me explain you from here when let's say i zero right so i zero so output at zero would be nums at nums at zero so nums at zero nums at zero is zero and then they ask, okay, what's at zeroth uh, index? Zeroth index is zero. So we'll get zero. Then when it goes to, let's say, when i is, uh, what's the output dot length? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's say the fifth element, when i will be five, right? So when i will be five, it will say, okay, num set, num set five. So num set five will be this thing, fourth, right? And they say, okay, what's at the fourth element? The fourth index. So fourth index is zero, one, two, three, four three so then we got three at the end if you get it what i'm trying to say then if you try to return the output and if you run the code see we got the answer we got run time 67 and you can submit the solution as well so it should work yeah it passed all the use case test cases so our solution was faster than 33 percent and only 46 mb less than 26 percent solution so it was a good solution Thank you so much. Come back on my channel for easy solutions like this.